Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to another video. So right now I'm getting ready to head out. Um, as I mentioned, so the last video kind of ended. I didn't like do like a goodbye or anything like that because I was editing the video yesterday and it was getting a bit long. So um, I decided that I was just going to kind of go ahead and end it and we would just start a new one. So basically where we left off was that, you know, I had put it, I had put up the new shelves and stuff over. Oh my God, I need to sneeze. <laughs> I put up the new shelves over by the office area and then the ones in my bedroom, but now I just need to get stuff to kind of like fill them up with. So, um, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and head out now for the day. Um, and yeah, we'll see what we can find. Hopefully we can get some good stuff. I think I'm going to go buy Ross and then I'm going to go buy Marshall's and see what they have available. All right, y'all. So I just left, uh, not Marshall's, uh, Ross and that was a fail. They didn't have hardly of anything they had a lot of cute like um flowers and plants and stuff like that but um i got enough of that i don't need i don't need any more like fake flowers and stuff like that they had a bunch though and they're like always priced so good so i definitely wanted to but self-control and i love them alone so now i'm about to head to marshall's it's right up the street and um hopefully they have something but yeah i'm definitely not trying to be out here super long today it's actually overcast and not too bad um weather wise so i mean it's not a terrible day to be out but we're starting back work next week so i just want to try and relax a little bit for my last two days off before we get back into the office <laughs> But yeah, um, I'll catch up with you guys. Maybe if, you know, there's an opportunity in Marshalls. If not, I'll see you guys once I get home. All right, y'all. So I picked up a few things from Marshalls. Um, I'm now in TJ Maxx. It's just really hard to try to shop around for stuff because of like the holiday season. So a lot of stuff is like geared towards fall and like Halloween. So I picked up, I got a few things in my cart now, but uh, yeah, I think I'm about to give it up for the day and head out. I just had to show y'all the rain started coming down out of nowhere. I got soaked. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm definitely going home now. And I need to be in the turning lane. Oh my gosh. Yeah, y'all, we done for the day for sure. All right, you guys. <clears throat> so uh we made it home um and i'm telling you that rain really caught me off guard like i was not expecting it to rain today but um just to show you guys where we left off in the bedroom why am i so close hold on so yeah pretty much nothing on the two shelves in here and also guys this is the sad reality of gaining weight all my pants that I was trying on today the thighs are just too big now <laughs> but you know what we're working on it I didn't have any spandex pants to wear because I've been going to the gym all week so we're not just complaining about the weight game we're trying to do something about it and then here is how the office shelves look shelves look so that's what we got up there for now now let me show you what we got off of what we got from Marshalls and TJ Maxx okay so we went to tj maxx first now outside of like decor stuff i just picked up this multi-purpose spray i love this one it smells really really good so um i grabbed that and then i got like this letter r i'm trying to decide where am i going to put this and whether it's going to go in the room or over in the office area so i only got two pieces from marshall's so I got that and then I got this little piece. And then from TJ Maxx, <clears throat> I got this hanging plant. Now I did this one because I didn't have a good hanging plant in the bedroom and I felt like this color would go nice in the room. So um, I grabbed this one. This was the only like plant that I got. And then 
I got another R, so I figured one can go in the bedroom and one can go out here. So we'll just have to decide which one is going where. Um, and then last but not least, I got this little clock right here. This is definitely going in the office area. So I thought this that this would be cute to put over there. So um, I'm about to start playing around and see how this stuff looks. All right, y'all, let's see what we can make happen over here. So I'm trying to decide, I don't know if this clock is working or not. I think it's working. I've just put the battery and stuff in, um, but the little, the smaller pin isn't moving, but I think the time is moving correctly because when I said it, it was 2.06. It's 2.07 now. So it's about right, I don't know. Once it gets later on into the day, I'll really be able to tell, but I'm not gonna harbor on it. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead, play around, and see what we end up with. All right, y'all, I think I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I still feel like it's missing something. I don't know what. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think, I'm, I'm definitely just gonna leave it like this for now, I think. I think that's okay for the time being. I feel like I need some, something else in between like that top area for sure. So let's go play around with the bedroom shelves. Okay, y'all, that one came together a little quicker. I think that looks fine for this area for now, too. I still got to pick up a few more things, but I think I'm going to leave it like this for now. Um, I love the hanging plant up there. I think that one, that's really cute. But, um, yeah, so we're gonna leave these shelves and stuff alone for now. <laughs> All right, you guys, so quick update on the shelf situation. So it's a little different. You might not really be able to tell, but it was driving me crazy that I put the shelves too low yesterday or Friday whenever I did them. Um, and like the secondary shelf was cutting into my monitor. And at first I was like, you know, I can deal with it. But the more I looked at it, it just drove me insane. <laughs> so um, I just went this morning and just readjusted the shelves because I couldn't, I couldn't take it looking like that. So this is the new look that we have for now. So, and I'm actually okay with the decor pieces that I have up there for now because like, it doesn't need to be super cluttered and crowded with stuff. So I think it looks really, really good. And here is kind of like the bottom section. I did kind of just like clear stuff out and try to make it, you know, more organized and less cluttered looking. But yeah, y'all, I think this has turned out to be really, really cute. So I'm really happy that I took it down. Like the wall isn't perfect, but, um, it doesn't really bother me. I don't think you can really tell unless you're like right up on it. <laughs> and that's what it kind of looks like close up. It's still not super bad. So yeah. I did pick up the camera today also because I do have a fun package coming. Um, I got me a new coffee maker. <clears throat> So, um, and it's like a smart coffee maker. It's a Keurig. It has like the, uh, the milk frother and it, you can do like espresso shots because Starbucks been taking all my money lately. So I need to invest in something where I can make my own fancy coffees and stuff like that. So I'll show you guys that when it gets here, but, um, yeah, y'all, I'm going to get to work. Um, and hopefully this week flies by because there's, you know, a holiday next week. So we'll have a nice little three day weekend. But um, yeah, y'all, I'll catch up with y'all once my package gets here. All right, you guys. So I just went and picked up the new coffee maker. This is what it looks like. So this is the Keurig K Cafe Smart. Um, so it's supposed to be really, really cool. Like you can get download like an app and stuff. 
you can set it to um like you can like literally have it brew coffee from your cell phone you can set favorites stuff like that and as i had already mentioned it comes with a frother um you can do espresso shots in here the water um pitcher thingy is supposed to be really nice um i also on my own ordered this off of amazon so y'all probably can't see it yet but um it's a water filter as well so i'm going to insert that in there this is a hole in this box hopefully it didn't damage the actual package though but it's going to be out with the little owl over here and let's get ready to set up the new bad boy <laughs> all right you guys so we got the new coffee machine all set up over here so of course i still gotta like um rinse out the stuff and whatnot and while i was opening the packaging i realized that they actually gave me a water filter but um it's still fine that i bought extras because of course you'll have to like swap them out eventually so um but basically now that i got a plug got it plugged in it just gave me these options right here so um i wonder is it do i do it there or do i use the k button for okay okay so get connected Let's see. All right, y'all. So I had to cut it off for a moment because I had to set up the app and everything. So I needed my phone. But now I'm just doing the cleansing brew. So just some of, um, something about the buttons up here. So this right here is a signature brew button. So basically the coffee maker has a, um, a camera under it. So like when you put a pod in, it takes a picture of the, um, the K-Pod and basically based on the type of pod you're using, it gives a recommended like strength, size and all of that type of stuff. So that's what that's for. You got your shot button and then you got the option to put it over ice. So I can do that after doing the cleansing run. Um, so let's see what it's talking about. Okay, yeah, so basically that's what I was just explaining. So basically it's called the brew ID. So it recognizes your pod to brew the way the roaster recommends. Okay, find recipes. Yeah, so the app did have some recipes and stuff. Create lattes and more. I'm so excited to make some coffee in the morning. Um, I can't do any more today because it's 4.30 now, after 4.30. And um, I had trouble falling asleep last night, so I don't need no caffeine late. <laughs> Choose your preferred screen, brew over ice. So I do need to figure out, insert pod, press and hold K to power off. Okay. Um, I do need to figure out how to, um, how to insert the filter on the water reservoir. Um, press K for hot water. Oh, y'all couldn't see that. How do you just go to the home screen or something? Okay. Or maybe that's the screen it stays on once it's like done. So yeah, I'm gonna see about how I do the um, filter for this. All right, y'all, so here is a part of the filter. I got it in the water. They say I'm supposed to let it soak for five minutes. And then I think it goes like it's to the bottom of this. And then I should be able to stick it into the water reservoir somehow. So um, once this is done, after the five minutes, we'll see. <laughs>
all good now. So um, everything is set up. Um, I can throw this out. This was like a, a part of the cleaning cycle. And this water was like really gray and ill. So definitely gotta rinse that off even after you rinse so for the five minutes. But um, yeah, we're all set. I'll uh, definitely show you guys tomorrow once I make my first cup of coffee. Um, we might do two cups of coffee tomorrow. I usually always do hot coffee first thing in the morning. And then if I want coffee later on in the afternoon, I'll typically do, um, I'll do an iced coffee. And um, so like, I don't have any espresso K-Pods, but I do have the, um, what is this one? The medium roast double caffeine. And then I also got the blonde roast of the double caffeine. So I'll probably use those as like my espresso um, pods. <clears throat> to um try out doing it because I want to try out doing me a caramel macchiato um that's why I purchased this so I'm gonna try this out tomorrow and make myself a caramel macchiato but yeah y'all so I will probably check back with you guys in the morning when um we're testing out making some coffee just brewed our first cup of coffee in the new coffee maker so let's do a taste test together this is what it looks like I should have did double shots um <clears throat> this big behind cup that I used I wanted to use it because it was clear so you can see like you know how everything turned out but let me take a little sip it doesn't taste like Starbucks um let me mix it up some more so it's pretty good i think the issue might be that it's not sweet enough for me because as we know at starbucks because that um vanilla that i have the vanilla and the caramel is sugar free <laughs> so technically um i know the syrup is going to be you know should be sweet enough as well but it's not really doing a lot for it it doesn't have any enough sweetness for me I mean, it's still, I'm gonna drink it. It's still pretty good. I might just need to swap out my um, syrups. So yeah, y'all, um, I'm just about to go ahead and get started for the work day. Um, 
I'm just ready for this week to be over with. As we know, we'll have a nice little three day weekend this week for um, Labor Day. So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna get back to work. I might try out doing a iced coffee a little later on today. I wish I could show you guys the app that goes along with this. But um, of course, since I'm using my phone, I can't and I'm pretty sure my camera won't stay on for five minutes to let me go through it. But the app is really, really cool. Like it has, um, you can pretty much search any type of coffee that you want to drink and it will give you step by step of how to um create the drink basically so i think that's pretty cool but um yeah i'll catch up with you guys later on all right you guys so it's a little bit after 12 now and i'm gonna get my second cup of coffee for the day so um as i mentioned this time around i'm gonna do um iced coffee so the instructions are pretty similar to the hot one. So I'm just start off with my vanilla syrup. Again, there's just absolutely no sweetness. <laughs> but I know it's like, what can I expect since everything I'm using is unsweetened, but I'm gonna have to, um, I wonder if there's a step, but this would be a lot. I don't know how much that line is, but I'm gonna use some of the actual caramel macchiato creamer. instead of using the milk if I can use the creamer and that'll make it better mm, that's a lot better all right you guys so what taco tuesday was a success they were so good oh my gosh but um, also I got on an acne patch just in case um, y'all see something weird down there. My skin has really been struggling lately. And I know it's because I haven't been getting in enough water. Like <laughs> I know people probably find it so frustrating when like you see somebody with really good skin and you're just like, oh my gosh, what are you using? And then they're just like, you know, the main thing that they contribute to their skin is like drinking water. And it's like, you just want it to be some, you know, magic product that they're using, but no, water seriously does play a part. So, um, and I definitely haven't been getting my water in, so I need to do better with that. And also, um, I just wanted to also say prayers to everyone that's in Florida. Like I am so out of touch sometimes with <laughs> the important things that are going on in the world. Like I had no idea that we were even in the line of the storms that are coming. Um, basically, I was strolling on Instagram today and, um, oh my God, shade, the shade room, they put a post up about how uh, Governor Kemp basically has Georgia on a state of emergency right now. Cause I knew that the um, storm was gonna co like go through Florida. And, um, but apparently, you know, we're in the line of the 
hurricane as well. Hopefully all around it's not as bad as what they're saying that it's gonna be right now. Um, and hopefully everybody who can evacuate does because nobody wants to be stuck in something like that. Like, oh my goodness. And it's so crazy because like I've been going back and forth about like possibly moving to Florida, but just this yearly threat, cause it just seems like every single year, like there's a storm that's going through Florida. And so I just, I don't think I could live like that. Like I'm scared of the, you know, daily regular type of thunderstorms. So to have a whole hurricane threat every single year, I don't think so. And especially for the people just like, you know, with their homes and stuff like that, getting severely damaged and whatnot, like every single year, possibly having like big construction type things that you have to have repaired, I couldn't imagine. So um, yeah, apparently like our area where I'm at, we're supposed to feel the effects of it. Kind of like, um, I think they said early afternoon tomorrow and um, they're basically going to have us under like warnings and watches up through like midnight tomorrow night and that um, by Thursday morning, everything should be, um, you know, passed on through and up the coast basically. But um, yeah, so my sister had texted me as well and was just like, you know, make sure you're being safe. And she had said that, you know, she wouldn't stop up on some stuff. And this is where I'm like, I'm just so out of touch because like, I didn't go to the store <laughs> and like get anything and stuff like that. So I'm just praying that hopefully it's good tomorrow. Hopefully we don't lose power. Um, I, I will fill my Brita up tonight so <laughs> I can make sure that it's like full of water just in case. But um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad. Um, this video will go up on the weekend, of course. So by then everything will have passed. So um, hopefully there's good news to report, but um, yeah, y'all. So I will catch up with y'all later. All right, y'all. So I thought I'd give y'all a little look of the amount of rain we're getting outside. You probably can't see too much of it too good, but definitely like puddles of rain right now. Um, my brother just texted me as well. Um, he lives about 30 minutes away from me maybe and he said that they've already lost power so um that sucks i'm praying that it does not go off here but i probably need to go ahead and lower the ac and definitely cook me something to eat just in case so um yeah y'all i mean it still doesn't look horrible outside right now um like i said just been rain pretty much so far so yeah i'm gonna try and get me some food I'm actually going to turn my air conditioning down to about 70 for now. And um, it's 11 o'clock now. So, yeah, I need to eat. I'm supposed to have another work call at 1 o'clock today. So, hopefully, the power makes it. Um, if not, then I don't know. Because I don't have a hot spot on my cell phone. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Good morning, you guys. And happy Saturday. Um, I thought I would just turn on the camera real quick to kind of like close everything out, I guess. Um, as we can see here though, we got some new hair and don't judge me. I did get this hair off of Timu, but I actually think it's really cute. Um, it's just like a water wave texture. So, um, I got this done last night and I think it's really, it looks really cute. So, um, yeah, y'all, um, I'm hope, hopefully I'm about to go to Ross. Um, last night we got done with my hair around 8.30 and when I went outside to my car, my tire pressure light was on. So I'm hoping that I don't go outside to like <laughs> a completely flat tire. I didn't want to stop last like, like I didn't want to stop last night because like it was late. And so I made it home. And again, I'm hoping that maybe it was just because of the drop in the temperature because it was in like the low 70s by the time that I left. And I do know that sometimes people say like um, temperature changes can cause like the pressure in your eye, <laughs> can cause the pressure in your tires to deflate. So hopefully that's all it is. I probably will stop somewhere this morning though and put some, um, put some air in them, hopefully. It's not like none of them are completely to the ground. So yeah, y'all. But um, yeah, y'all, I just wanted to go ahead and close this video out. But before I go, I just kind of wanted to leave y'all with a cautionary tale. 
Um, I know y'all are probably like, you've been giving us all the tea lately, but honestly, I just feel like with this situation that I'm in, maybe it can help somebody else out there. So um, basically I've just been very stressed out for the past two weeks or for the past few weeks. Um, a few weekends ago, I got a letter in the mail from the IRS. Yes, Uncle Sam himself. So, um, and originally when I got the, um, the letter, I was thinking that it was from my taxes that I filed this year because this year was the first time that I've ever had to like pay money back. And so basically I thought like, oh, okay, you know, this is like a receipt or something for where I paid my taxes or whatever. But no, it was the exact opposite. It said it was a large bill saying that it was due by the end of August. So as you know, now we're in September, but um, basically when I got that letter, I was freaking out, crying. Of course, I'm a big cry baby. <laughs> and something that I didn't mention in my previous video is that both of my parents are gone. Um, I lost my mom in 2019 and I lost my dad in 2012. <clears throat> So like I don't have like that parent guidance or whatever when you get scary stuff. So basically I was like freaking out and whatnot. I sent the picture to um my tax preparer just to let her know like, hey, what is this? I run to my email, check my email to see like, okay, what documents did I send them? Because basically the IRS was saying that I underreported my income. So I went to my email, checked the PDF file that I sent them, and I sent everything. So also in my previous video, I was telling you guys about how like in 2021, I like switched jobs a few times. So even though for one of the jobs, I kind of like, I left one job and then I ended up going back to the same job. I was talking about like the different segments that the company has. So even though the company name is the same, I worked in two separate segments. So I got two separate W-2s for that job. So I had three W-2s for the 2021 tax year. And so when I went to my email and checked the PDF file that I sent, I sent all three and you know, some other documents. So I was like, okay, like clearly this is just, it has to be a mistake. So um, I was like, I'm gonna wait till Monday morning. Cause again, this was on a Saturday. So I was like, I'll wait till Monday morning. Once I go, um, you know, I'm gonna call them and this is gonna be a mistake and everything is gonna be fine. So I'm up bright and early. <laughs> I called them like at 7.05. I was like, I'm gonna give them five minutes. <laughs> And so I called them, the IRS was basically like, they don't have all the information that this was done by the auditing department. So I would need to call them. All they did was send them the bill, basically the changes. And so they gave me the number to the auditing department. I called them. And so this is something to note as well. Like if there is a mistake in your tax return, like you won't always know right away. So like basically what the man told me is that usually they don't do audits until two to three years after a tax return has been filed or whatever. And I'm like, okay, that's weird. But, um, so basically he was like, yeah, it looks like one of your returns for, you know, the company where I got to was not reported. And what ticked me off, it was like, not only was one of them not reported, but it was the one where I made the most money was the one that wasn't reported. So I was just like ticked off, of course, because I was telling him, I was like, okay, I'm like, literally, I'm looking at my file right now that I sent to my preparer. Like everything is in here. And he was like, you know, it that sucks. He was like, it doesn't sound like it's on you. It sounds like this is a, you know, your preparer's issue. And so he was like, you're just going to have to get with them and, you know, try to get them to get them to file an amendment. And so I was like, okay. So finally she replied and was like, you know, I'll submit a, um, an amendment for you. And I told her everything that they told me. And so right now this is us just going back and forth through email. And so then finally, a few days later, she ends up calling me. <sighs> and you guys, when I tell you that it took everything into me not to lose my mind on this phone, <laughs> like there was apologies, but it was also kind of like misplacing blame. 
And don't get me wrong, I know that I have to take some accountability because it's like, but the situation for me was, is that this company has been like doing my taxes. And that's the thing. This isn't just some random person or something like that, that I let file my taxes. Like it's a whole business and everything like that. So it was like, they've been doing my taxes since I've been working. And so I think I just got complacent and like, wasn't really paying attention to like what you know, what I was looking at anymore. I was just kind of on autopilot going through signing the documents. So, <clears throat> so basically we got on the phone with each other. She was like, you know, I'm sorry. You know, we've been in business this amount of years. We've never like, you know, this isn't something normal. We don't typically have issues like this. And so this is where things started getting like, okay, you, you taking me off now. So she was like, you know, because Usually, you know, we've been doing your uh, taxes for years and, you know, you usually only have one W-2 and like now it's like you have three. So it's like that's just, you know, not normal for you. And I'm just thinking like, what does the amount of W-2s that I provided have to do with anything? If I gave you guys three, my information was on three, w what's the issue? Or if you was... Like if you had an, a situation where you was like, you thought something was incorrect about the amount of W-2s that I provided, why not say something to me? And then it's just the fact that you filed two of them. So it couldn't have been like that big of an issue. So I was just like, you know, I, I just couldn't care about the reason of that. Oh, you had, you usually only have one. People change jobs all the time. So it's like, I, I really didn't want to hear that crap. So she was like, yeah, you usually only have um one. So, you know, that, um, I mean, like, you know, it's not a, a good excuse that why we missed it, but, you know, it's just we're used to you only having one. I was like, okay. And so then she goes on to say, so, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, the extra money was like nice back then, but, you know, they want it back now. And it's like, you know, you're kind of breaking even because, you know, you were able to have the extra money back then but now they want the money back. And I'm just like, I didn't ask for a loan from the IRS. Like, what do you mean I'm breaking even and all of this crap? I would have rather them got the money that they were supposed to get back then and not be in this situation now. It's just like the stuff she was saying is, uh, y'all. <laughs> And then finally she goes, so I am putting your amendment together and we're going to do it free of charge. And I was like, oh, you thought that I was going to pay y'all to fix something that y'all messed up? So the amount is going to reduce significantly, but I'm still going to owe like, you know, a good chunk of money. And I'm just like, please, y'all, I know taxes are super scary. And that is why, you know, I paid somebody to do them for me. But it's like, still, you have to have like some sort of knowledge towards this stuff, or you're going to end up like me, like, seriously, like you have to have like some type of knowledge, or at least just read everything. And if the numbers look too low, or something like that, just question it, like question everything. <sighs> Like, I'm just so upset because, like, in the beginning, I would go in the office with her. But, like, after a few years and we had been doing this stuff for so long, I would just send her all of my information. She would, like, you know, file it or whatever. And then she would send me the DocuSign to sign. And then that that's basically how we've been doing it for the past couple of years. And I'm so grateful that I filed my own taxes this year because I feel like I would have been in the same mess because I had two W-2s this time around. So, yeah, like I said, y'all, although taxes are like really, really scary, you, you just have to have a little bit of knowledge yourself. Like even if you're paying somebody to do a service for you, it just sucks that in a situation like this, although I did my part by providing all of the necessary documents because I signed off on everything, I still have to own up to the errors that was made. So. Yeah, y'all, this really, really sucks. <laughs> oh my gosh. So like just to be on the safe side, like I said, because it did say that it was going to be due by the end of August. I just went ahead and set up a payment plan so that, um, you know, I can make sure that 
there is no issue and the IRS don't think I'm trying to, you know, get out of giving them their money back. So I just went ahead and set up the um, payment plan. And then, you know, basically the people from the IRS told me that once the amendment is like settled and submitted and reviewed and whatnot, the amount will like adjust. So yeah, y'all, that's the situation that I'm in. But yeah, like I said, just wanted to give you guys a cautionary tale and just to be careful with stuff like your taxes. Like, oh, I know we pay people to do services and stuff for us. So, you know, we kind of think that, okay, they got it. Clearly, sometimes they don't. So, yeah, y'all, I'm about to get out of here. All right, y'all, I don't know what's wrong with my tires. They all have air in them. So I think I did see that that tire light can come on when the tread on your tires is low as well. So I'm assuming that that's what it has to be. Um, dang, ain't nobody, y'all heard what I was just talking about a second ago. I can't afford no new tires. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's not all of them. I know I got... I had gotten two new tires not too long ago. I know they say that you should replace them all at the same time, but I mean, that's expensive. I don't even know which tires it is, which one needs to be replacing. Oh gosh, this sucks. But yeah, also I didn't update y'all. So pretty much with the storm, we didn't get much of anything, thank God. But again, I know Florida was the main area where, you know, um, who they were in like the direct line of the storm. So again, prayers to everyone in Florida. But you know, for us, we really didn't get much. We got some rain and we got some wind and that was pretty much it, so. All right, you guys, so we've made it home now and good news with my tire. It turns out that it was just user error, <laughs> of course, with me. But honestly, I feel like it was the machine because Typically when you do the air to, when you do like the machine to put your air in there, you set what you want the tire pressure to be. And then when you put it in there, it shows you what your tire pressure currently is and then fills it up. I set the PSI to 33 and like when I put it in there, it just kind of went to zero and then said 33 and it was doing that like for all of them. That's why I thought, well, okay, it must be at the correct levels. And then I forgot that I had a tire pressure checker and I'll put a picture up of the one that I had and I've had that thing for years. So after I left the dollar store, I just, I felt like the car was driving funny. So I was getting nervous. So I got, I stopped while I was at the dollar store and I used my little checker to check all my tires. And like one, one, one of them was 20, one, two were 25 and one was 27. So I went to a gas station and used their machine and it worked properly. And then the light was off by the time I got back in the car. So I was like, thank you. Oh, Cause we can't buy no new tires over here. <laughs> but um, I did go to Ross and so I got the last piece for my um little office area over there i got this big like whiteboard um with the calendar on it so you can just kind of switch out the calendar yourself every month because typically i'll just like print out one each month but i think this is a lot better so um i got a whiteboard over there now let me show you guys what it looks like okay so this is the one that i have up here now it's like half cork half um like a whiteboard so i'm going to replace that with the new one that i just got from ross and that was only 8.99 so um yeah i'm going to put that one up there and then i just got me this tarani um caramel syrup because I, I don't know i don't i don't really like that giraldi one that i have i think that's what it's called and then i got me some um hair clips so um yeah I don't, I'm not sure if I'm about to put that up now. I'm hungry. I <laughs> Popeyes gets on my nerves. I went to because last night when me when I was getting my hair done, my sister does my hair for me. We were watching TV and they kept showing Popeyes commercials with this new sweet and sour. Um, I keep trying to call them sweet and sour, sweet and spicy chicken wings that they have and we were both like oh yeah we're gonna try those out and like last night after i left they were just two packed and so i was like okay well i'll go today so popeyes opens at 10. the first location i went to it was about 10 30 
and I sat at the box for a minute. Clearly, they must be weren't ready. So I just left and I could see that there were people in there, but I was like, whatever. So I drove to another one about 10 minutes away. So now it's about 1040 or something like that. Get to that one, same situation. Several other people were like at the little machine and I saw like one guy, he drove around and like kind of went and peeked, I guess, looking inside. And then he left and then I was there. I waited for a minute. Another car had already pulled up behind me. I just ended up driving off again. And then I can clearly see that the person behind me, they must've did the exact same thing and just drove off. So I was like, oh my gosh, Popeyes, y'all need to do better. Y'all ain't gonna never be able to compete with Chick-fil-A if y'all can't open on time. <laughs> Cause I know I talk my mess about Chick-fil-A, but what I can't say is that what you can't mess with them about is their consistency. So yeah, y'all. But anyways, um, I'm gonna hang out for a little bit and then I'm gonna put this up there and I'll show y'all what it looks like once I put it up there. And I know I said earlier that I was closing the video out. I just guess, I guess I just went on a little tangent. So it's a little bit longer, but after I put this up, that will be it for this one. So, all right, y'all. So I just put up the new, um, board, whiteboard with the calendar on it. So this is kind of the final look of the revamped office space. So, um, basically I just wrote in the dates up there, put the, um, month in and I really like it. I think that's cute. So yeah, y'all, I think we're going to call it done here for now. So again, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.